Nowadays, these underground gas tanks are made from fiberglass and they have dozens of hidden engineering details that all go into making them safe. Here's how it all works. When a truck comes to refill the tanks every few days, it connects to a valve on the surface and gasoline starts flowing into the tanks. As the level within the tank reaches around 95%, a flapper valve flips up and stops the flow of fuel, making sure it can never be overfilled. To take care of the vapor, the truck connects to a second valve at the top of the tank. As the gasoline is pumped from the truck into the tank, the vapor exits through this secondary valve and gets pushed back into the truck. That vapor is then returned to the processing plant, cooled down, and turned back into usable fuel. When a customer goes to fill up their car, a pump placed at the bottom of the tank activates and starts sending gas up through a series of pipes and filters into the fuel dispenser. From there, it flows into the fuel nozzle, which is perhaps the most interesting piece of the puzzle. Back in the day, this would have been a simple valve releasing gas into the car. Now, it's a mechanical work of art that makes it impossible to overfill a car. As the fuel enters the nozzle, it pushes its way through a narrow opening. Small holes around the opening lead down a thin pipe to a small opening at the tip of the nozzle. As the fuel flows, a low pressure region forms here thanks to the Venturi effect. Because of this, air starts being sucked in through the narrow pipe and into the opening, where it mixes with the gasoline. Another tube, also connected to the narrow opening, leads to a small compartment containing a sealed membrane. This is where the magic happens. When the lever gets pressed, it pivots around here and opens up a valve, allowing fuel to pass through. But the only thing holding this part in place is a set of ball bearings. When your car is full, the fuel covers the hole at the top of the nozzle. This cuts off the flow of air being sucked into the system. And so, the only other path to get more air is through the other tube. But it's completely sealed. And so this negative pressure sucks the air out of the sealed compartment, creating a vacuum and lifting up the membrane. The ball bearings are now free to drop, causing the whole lever system to fall, closing the valve and cutting off the flow of fuel. After the 70s, cars became more efficient and required less trips to fill up. And so the number of gas stations started to decline. But thanks to 100 years of engineering, gas stations became safe and mundane.